Here's a quick and simple trick that you can use to make your church photos more engaging. First thing that you're gonna to wanna to do, shoot some burst photos. Then bring one set of burst photos that you like and pull them into Lightroom. Then with the first photo in your sequence of photos, edit that to your liking and copy that edit to the rest of the photos. Then once you're done copying all of those edits over, you can then export those photos. Now it's time to open up Premiere. Once you've created a project file and imported your photos, go ahead and create a new sequence. And for this, I'm gonna create a vertical sequence. Then you're gonna select all your photos and drop them in the timeline. Make sure you set them to frame size. And now you're gonna go through and change the duration for the photos. Usually about three to five seconds is the sweet spot. And you can do that by selecting all of these, then right clicking, and then going to speed and duration. And then what you're gonna do is just write 03 for three frames or 05 for five frames. And then you can select ripple, edit, and shift trailing clips. And there you go, you've shortened the duration of those photos. Next, I'm gonna make a copy of these photos on the timeline, and then I'm going to reverse their order so that the first photo is last and the last photo is first. And if I bring all of those photos together on the timeline, you now have a photo boomerang that you've made yourself. And the last thing to do with this is to delete the first and last photo of the second set of photos that you copied over so that same photo doesn't show up twice in a row. So we're gonna go to that first photo of that second set and delete it. And we're gonna go to that last photo of the second set and delete it. And we're gonna push all that over. And there is your photo boomerang. So I'm gonna nest all this entire sequence. So if there are any more adjustments that I wanna make like crop and rotation, things like that, I can do that to the entire set of photos all at once. Then additionally, you can add sound effects or music to that just to enhance the video even more, export that out, post that on Instagram or TikTok, and then you have that as a nice little video loop that you can share across your church pages.